seemingly confirming what was apparently an open secret in South Carolina. New reporting from the Daily Mail alleges former governor and current GOP hopeful Nikki Haley had affairs with her communications consultant and a married lobbyist prior to becoming the Palmetto State's chief executive. Two eyewitnesses, Will Folks and Larry Merchant, signed affidavits in 2010 alleging they had a sexual relationship with Haley before she went on to become governor. Haley has previously denied the affairs, though GOP insiders in South Carolina alleged the affairs were, quote, brazen and widely known. So, Jessica, this, um, as as mentioned in, in the opener, were considered open secrets in South Carolina that Nikki Haley had been philandering around the state with uh, members of her of her party um, before becoming governor. And I've even heard allegations that it continued while she was governor. Now, her husband uh, is in the military and is deployed on occasion, which would give her opportunity. Of course, legally, you have to be careful about what you say. She has denied the affairs. But this Daily Mail report apparently has access to these 2010 aff- sworn affidavits that were previously um, not available to the public. And in addition, they talked to people from South Carolina who claimed that this was basically uh, done quite brazenly. Uh, this is a quote from the Daily Mail article. Multiple GOP insiders told DailyMail.com that they were intimately aware of Haley's infidelity as a South Carolina lawmaker, including tales of steamy liaisons in the back of her Cadillac SUV, canoodling in her lover's laps at bars and nights spent together in a Columbia, South Carolina duplex. Um, The 2010 affidavits, um, including the one from folks, say that he engaged in an inappropriate physical relationship that included numerous instances of inappropriate sexual conduct, says he first kissed Haley in a car in early 2007 and that they had regular trysts in her apartment in downtown Columbia and the allegations go on, but this is also not the first time that we have heard about allegations that she has been unfaithful to her husband. Pedro Gonzalez reported, I think over a year ago, um, that she had allegedly been having an affair with Corey Lewandowski, who, or sorry, I'm thinking of Christine Ohm. Um, That is not Nikki Haley, but uh, anyway, (laughs) uh, I digress. Christine Ohm was accused of having an affair with uh, Corey Lewandowski, who was one of her top advisors. But these South Carolina trysts are apparently, again, an open secret. And I just am kind of baffled that it took this long for them to really be reported publicly. Previously, these affidavits were only covered in very specific local media outlets in South Carolina. I don't know if the media was concerned about being sued or maybe Boeing just had their missiles trained on any opposition researcher in politics um, over the past two decades. Um, But uh, it seems like, of course, an opportune time for this to drop now as she is closing the gap on Donald Trump in New Hampshire, supposedly, and is trying to uh, take the nomination away from him. But uh, I don't know. What do you think? (laughs) Are are you surprised to hear about this, Jessica? And do you think uh, the accusations are more likely than not? Or I mean, what's your take on it? I would say the accusations are more likely than not, in my opinion, when you get this kind of firsthand testimony on the record about the affair happening and people saying things like, well, it was completely out in the open. So it sounds like there's no hesitation for going on the record and saying this. Of course, you know, when there's cases where the accusations are false and and people repeat them and they say them to the media, there's the potential for a defamation lawsuit. And the fact that these sources were so confident that they were willing to to go to the papers, to the press and say, actually, no, this happened a ton. We all saw it was open. We thought I think it's the kind of scenario where Nikki Haley hadn't quite made her mental calculation of what her political ambitions would be and was kind of living the high life of, a, you know, she was a lob or not a lobby. She was on the board of Boeing. She was making a ton of money with her career in politics. And it seems if this is true, living kind of recklessly, that kind of a vibe is pretty common for people who are in politics. So I'm not that surprised at all. But it definitely doesn't match the kind of image Nikki Haley has tried to put out about herself. I don't think she wanted to come off as this kind of high roller who made a bunch of money in politics and was living fast and loose, so to speak. But I will say the only thing that would really, you know, hurt her with this coming out 
is the fact that women are held to a different standard. Of course, Donald Trump has said a bunch of sexual things, has been sexually promiscuous, is on his second marriage, has married someone who is an immigrant. You know, he's said all kinds of things that make us believe he was also living fast and loose. But women are definitely held to a different standard, especially in, in conservative eyes and conservative circles. So I can really see this, you know, potentially hurting her because of that double standard. Yeah, I feel like for me, it's a little bit less about her being a woman and more about the potential hypocrisy here, because if the allegations are true, then she was engaging in this behavior while her husband was off serving his country, which is especially despicable. And she also has said that the reason she's running for president is because of her husband. I mean, she talks repeatedly about what a family woman she is. And even just to contrast that with Trump, I mean, it's obviously well known that he is pretty much a philanderer. Um, but he has, I, I don't think, ever really gone on the campaign trail and tried to use his marriage or his family or, or tout himself as a family traditional values man in order to advance his political career. And so that's why this would be particularly brazen. In fact, one of the men who claims to have had this relationship with her signed the affidavit. Um, well, for one, they both have very specific dates, locations, details about what happened. So he says, after a night together of dinner and drinks with other participants of a conference, uh, Congresswoman Haley and I returned to the hotel together. We went back to her room where we had sexual intercourse and I spent the remainder of the evening. I left her room at approximately 6 a.m. And he continues, I came forward publicly only after being contacted by the press and after hearing Haley claim that she had been 100% faithful to her husband in response to the folks allegations when I knew her statements were absolutely false. So basically, sounds like one guy came forward, um, this, uh, this affair was alleged in the press, she claimed it was totally false, she was 100% faithful, and so then a second guy came out, which always happens when you lie about these things, right? You always anger the other people that you, are that you have allegedly done these things with. He comes forward and signs this affidavit and says, here's exactly what happened. I was involved with Nikki Haley, too. Um, and I came forward because I can't deal with the fact that she was lying about this publicly. It's also important, um, going back to the Fonnie Willis case, very similar situation here. Marchant apparently divorced uh, in 2013 and his wife cited the alleged affair with Nikki Haley in the court papers. So there's a long paper trail of her allegedly being involved with this man um, but has denied it for years. And I just think it's pretty stunning that this didn't um, get more play when she first announced her run for president. I think maybe then people didn't take her as seriously Then after a couple of decent debate performances, polling pretty well in New Hampshire, maybe people felt like this was the right time to bring this up again. Um, I think it was pretty universally agreed upon when she first launched her campaign that this was all just an effort to get donors, infrastructure, um, email list up for 2028 when she would have a serious run. Then she found herself being kind of successful, gaining a bit in the polls and felt like um, she was going to actually take a real run at this thing, actually try to take out Donald Trump, but may have destroyed her personal life and political career in the process because she got a little bit over out ahead of her skis, so to speak. Um, so I'm curious to see if she responds to this. I don't think she has yet. Um, but the affidavits are all linked in this Daily Mail piece. I mean, I definitely am going to dig in and read them in full um, as soon as we we uh, get off of this this program because the allegations are pretty bombastic. Right. Her history of, of denying what people have testified that she has done, right? There are sworn affidavits. There's now additional people going to the press saying they saw what went down. I think it's going to be one of those situations where it's a conversation between two married people and they're going to be like, all right, how do we want to handle this? What's going to happen going forward? If her husband didn't know about this and is upset about this, I can see this becoming a much bigger problem for her political career. If this is a kind of scenario where they've already sorted it out between themselves, I can see things moving forward, you know, for Nikki Haley, where she tries to put it behind her. But it seems that there are enough people that care about infidelity and care about dishonesty. I really think you're right in saying her being dishonest to the American voter is, is really what is going to have her in hot water over these allegations. 
Uh, Donald Trump has a tendency to kind of just say the quiet part out loud and admit to doing things even when he pleads not guilty in a court of law. So a bit of a different relationship with his questionable sexual conduct than uh, Nikki Haley apparently will have with the voters she's supposedly accountable to. But we're definitely going to continue to follow this story, especially with everyone having cheating on their mind with Ariana Grande's new songs coming out. More rising after this.